Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Dead Eagle, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create simple yet effective UI in Python with Qt Designer and PyQt5. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a CMD uh, console and you want to type uh, pip install pyuc5 uh, stripe and then tool. And as you can see, I already have it, so that's great. You should install this and then we can continue. The next thing you're gonna want to install is Qt Designer, which is uh, in the description. The link will be down there. So after installing this software, we'll open it up and we'll be greeted with this screen. As you can see, we'll just click widget for now and click create. And I'm just gonna tell you guys, this will be a brief tutorial. I will not be showing everything. So you can do a lot of things in here. You can basically uh, click, uh, you can go to the palette and change a lot of the colors in the software. You can uh, customize a lot of things. We can just drag a label in here and call it or software. Basically makes no sense, but just to put some text in there. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna search for a push button and we're gonna put that in there and we're gonna call it event because we are gonna try and call a event on this button. So the next thing we're gonna try and do is uh, this ugly piece of UI. We're just gonna save it as a template into my Qt5 map and we saved it. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is open CMD. As you can see, form is right here. So what we're gonna do is type by uc5 stripe x and then quotation marks and then we're gonna type form.ui and I'm sorry you also have to add the uh, directory that it's in and as you can see it will give you the entire Python code which is really easy honestly we just made it in Qt Designer and it will just give us this entire Python code. We can just copy this. And as you can see, it even includes PyQt5 already for you. You don't even have to do anything basically to get the UI in uh, Python. So I'm gonna open my Qt.py in uh, PyCharm. And the next thing you guys are gonna wanna do is open the ter terminal and pip install by qt5 and as you can see i already have that installed but you have to install by qt5 first for this to work as you can see by qt5 is imported so i just pasted the uh, output of the cmd into uh, pycharm and honestly if we try and run this project it should just show our ui as simple as that our ui is right here right now so we're gonna change form to or software i believe this is the title for the it is okay but it's uh, <laughs> our software is very small obviously so the next thing we're gonna try is um as you can see this push button which is created here self dot push button dot clicked dot Connect. This is just to, uh, to show what you can do. Basically, we are going to make a function right here. The function is going to be called event. Event1, just for why not. And we're going to put self in between these brackets. Print. And it's going to say the event is called. Basically. And then it, we will pass so the script can continue basically and what we can do right here is because this uh this uh, action this event i mean is inside of this ui form at the moment we should be able to type self dot oh my series started talking we should be able to start at self dot event one and then minus these and then honestly we should be able to run this and press and as you can see the event is called as we press the button so obviously you can do a lot of things you, ha you can have text input and you can have so many more so much more things uh, to play with honestly with a uh, Qt editor as you can see there is there are quite some things uh, to play with honestly 
and with OpenGL you can obviously do a lot. So there are a lot of things to do. So as you can see, when, you, when we start a software, we click the event button. The event is obviously called because self.push button, we call the push button. And then if it's clicked, we uh, connect the click to the self.event1, which is right here. And it's inside of the UE for, uh, UI form. If we do this, um, honestly, it should be, yeah. It, UE, uh, UI form has no attribute event one, as you can see, it is not in the UI form class. So when we call event one right here, uh, it is thinking, where is event one? It is not able to see event one. But if we press tab again and align it, we will see that our software will run. And if we press event, the event is called. So this was just a brief tutorial on how PyQt5 works and what you can do with it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later.